Hello guys, I'm Wakas and in this video we're going to look at Solidify Modifier in Blender. Alright, so I'm going to select my first shape and click Add Modifier, use Solidify and I'm going to increase the thickness. So Solidify Modifiers literally adds thickness to your object. You could also extrude the object if you like but there is a modifier for it and it has a couple of different great options so why not use it. Alright, so you can see the thickness is not even at the moment so what we can do is use this checkbox with even thickness. You could also flip the normals if you like or use high quality normals as well. So I'm just gonna bring it out. There you go. And of course if you use high quality normals or even thickness it adds a bit of comp computation uh, to the scene when it renders but you, if you're not working on something very complex it doesn't really matter. It probably would worry if you are actually working with a lot of particles and using solidify modifier on some kind of particles as well so that's that's going to be a bit of a computation um, stuff where you need to take care of but yeah otherwise it's not a big deal secondly uh, I have this cylinder cut in half I'm gonna use a modifier on it as well just to show you and you can also go in the negative value if you like and yeah so I'm gonna use even thickness here also it doesn't really change anything yeah so there you go so this is clamping value as well and so yeah this is a very basic modifier but let's work with the vertex groups here let's see what we can do so I have this plane here it's been divided in it's been subdivided a couple of times and I, I'm gonna select the center of my plane which is right here, it's already selected. Go to my vertex groups and add a new vertex group and give it a weight of one and I'm gonna assign. So now if I go back to my object mode and apply a solidify modifier, give it a thickness, let's give it in a negative side and change my uh, group here, the vertex group here to whatever group that is, you can see there is a bit of a curve now because it's only treating these vertices that are in the middle because we added a vertex group so you can achieve your desired result in a very different manner the way you like uh, vertex, groups, vertex groups are amazing you can also work with the factor value here for the influence and uh, yeah this is how you use the vertex groups uh, a very simple modifier uh, but what I can also show you a very little nice thing if you if you want to use ever so once I select my cylinder if I uncheck fill rim I get um, something like this so it's still adding the thickness but I'm not filling in the rim but I'm still getting the result that's the, the ending result basically so it's taking this side and this polygon here and of course you can do a couple of things with this if you're working on some complex objects and it really depends on how you really want to use it. So um, what, I, what I could do is let's say if you apply the modifier, I could do something like, sorry, do something like so. Or I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing something, it doesn't really mean anything. But you can create complex things and shapes and, and models. Uh, for your games or animations, whatever you like. So this was Solidify Modifier. Let me know if you like this video and if you want me to cover something else. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away. So uh, this was it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.